Hello, good morning. It's uh, Deal Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Monday, a fourth Monday, Friday's trading session, the 19th of January 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com, and you can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, then, so this morning, uh, stats, uh, European markets certainly seem to be rebounding this morning, FTSE up after obviously sort of moving below 7, 6, uh, 7 700 yesterday. Uh, bouncing from 7680, so impressive move there on the FTSE. German DAX, CAC 40, it certainly seems like uh, the market started short squeeze after the news regarding the uh, uh, deregulation, if I can re recollect, if I go back. Fed's proposal could free up billions in capital. Fed said to keep to be working on plan to relax banks and leverage ratio. So that certainly seems to have triggered a potential short squeeze. Uh, in terms of European data, you've had the current account surplus uh, coming in stronger than expected for Europe, so that's certainly helping European equities. Okay, although we have had an article saying ECB seen close signaling end of 2QE as hawks gain influence. So that certainly is a risk negative. So hence the reason why you've seen the euro above that 1.22, well back to 1.23 well, now. If I bring up the euro, you can see here back to that key level. Uh, it certainly seems to have broken through that resistance zone as well. Uh, on the back of, obviously, the dollar index is certainly weak as well on the back of government shutdown phase. Uh, U.S. government shutdown phase certainly has how, has uh, triggered a potential we weakness in uh, your U.S. equities uh, too. Asian markets overnight shrugged off that concern, which again is kind of surprising. The Hang Seng up as well, the Nikkei more or less flat, and the Shanghai higher as well. So let's see how the market plays out. A weaker dollar at the moment certainly is helping commodities to a large extent, although it is risk negative European equities given the fact that the euro is approaching 1.23 and we are sterling now breaking above 1.39. So. Interesting scenario, interesting sort of structure there. In terms of economic data out this morning, we've had numbers from uh, UK retail sales numbers coming in worse than expected. So again, that certainly is a risk negative. So bear that in mind. Okay, a risk negative. German BPI uh, came in more or less in line. Uh, Eurozone current account certainly came in stronger than expected. So again, that's the status quo. That's the scenario that we find ourselves in. Okay. In terms of the rest of the markets, let's just go through that with you now. Let's see the technical picture, exactly where we stand. German DAX certainly has risen this morning. Uh, certainly an impressive move on the German DAX, okay? You can see here we uh, obviously gaps higher and we've uh, moved up almost 100, over 100 pips now. We're certainly testing that double top. So again, it's all about double top resistance for now. And let's see if we can break through that, okay? Daily chart at the moment, we're back into that resistance zone. If you break through that 13.425, then you're looking at 13.525. So let's see how the the market plays out. I certainly expected a stronger euro and hawkish comments there to keep the European equities in the indexes at bay, and that hasn't been the case. So let's just see how that transpires. In terms of the French CAC, this is an index that I've taken a short position out on. Okay, so I'm certainly looking for a potential HNS formation here now. So uh, looking for this left shoulder here. Okay, you've got the head. It bounced to the right shoulder, and now we're looking to potentially move low. Use your Fibonacci retracement, pivot high to pivot low. You're into that Fib 75%, and therefore looking to move lower. So again, HNS formation expected here, looking for a reversal. Okay, you have an unfilled gap of 5470, and then you have an unfilled gap at 5410. Let's see if we can close that. That's the scenario. Moving on there, in terms of the FTSE 100. Again, very impressive move here. Yesterday, closing around 7700, pivot low is 7683, okay. Certainly have bounced back quite impressively, okay. So again, it seems like the um, the actual uh, previous resistance equals support at 7695 held very well, okay. And the index now has started to reverse. Now, again, let's see how that uh, how that transpires. Now, a weaker dollar certainly could be helping the FTSE for in terms of commodities, but a weaker dollar hurts exports in terms of um, the currency, given the fact that the currency is over 1.39 now. So the uh, bearish effect from a weaker currency certainly is, is playing no part whatsoever on the FTSE. Which again is very surprising, okay? So uh, this market certainly is like a chameleon. It's constantly shifting in terms of its bias. So again, watch out there in terms of the next potential move on the FTSE itself as well because you've got contract, contrasting um, variables there in terms of the movement. Okay, moving on. Euro stocks at the moment. Again, this is an index that certainly surprised me. I was short. Uh, it's actually taken out the pivot high at 3640. Uh, and this is quite impressive move. So Euro stocks certainly very bullish today. Okay, certainly, certainly very bullish today. Let's see how long that lasts. 
It's taken out double top resistance at 3637. It's certainly pushing higher. Let's see if that can sustain itself, especially given the fact that we have a stronger euro. Your stronger euro hurts exports, and therefore it's good. It, it expects it to be risk negative. Currently, you have this key diagonal trend line. Let's see if it can break through that and sustain itself above that as well. Okay, so I think that's a good summation, really, of uh, the European equities today. Again, you've got a government shutdown in the US, which is risk negative. You've got concerns. Uh, with regards to uh, euro and sterling moving higher hurting exports commodities certainly seem to be bouncing and then loving the fact that you have a weaker dollar a lot of contrasting variables there folks okay you just have to follow your technical patterns and trade accordingly okay dollar index certainly has been crushed certainly is due uh, an, exp an expected potential uh, bounce as well if we look at the dollar index here The dollar index into double bottom okay so certainly a short squeeze is uh, is certainly um, uh, certainly applicable at any time so just be be wary of that as well and, and, and a rally in the dollar certainly could hurt commodities which in turn obviously hurts the FTSE itself and US indices too as well so let's see if that transpires on that note please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly download the latest app goodbye now